seems pretty likely. I mean, this has been talked about for some time. They filed the, the documents. Um, I mean, I think what's interesting about it is, you know, both both uh, Spotify as a company is interesting. Uh, they're trying to kind of bridge uh, between multiple uh, giants who also have um, similar services. So I think they're interesting to watch. Um, but, you know, the way they're doing this is a direct listing, and uh, it's an unusual move for, um, you know, for a company of its size to do that. Um, but I think that if it works, it might kind of open up a new avenue for a lot of kind of long-delayed uh, so-called unicorns to, to go public. And, um, you know, perhaps an easier way, a way for their employees to get some uh, liquidity um, and, you know, to, to lower fees for them. So it could be it could be an interesting move, and you know I'm I'm optimistic about uh, about its uh, possibilities. Walter, uh, Spotify as a brand is one thing. They kind of brought the world this free music streaming idea. As a business, it's another. I mean, it's up against Apple, Google, Amazon. If they decide to do video, up against Netflix in the streaming content business, is this going to be snap for streaming, or do you think it's got a shot? I think it's got a shot, and you also have ones like Pandora you should mention. But to me, the bigger thing of the reason it has a shot is uh, a lot of us, including Steve Jobs early on, uh, figured people would want to own their own music. You wouldn't want streaming or subscription services. Well, it turns out that these streaming and subscription services work well for music. They're going to work well for video. And I think soon they might work well even for journalism. So we have a whole new model that's opening up a new type of economy, which is people subscribing in ways that you can get a broad array of either music or videos, and someday maybe a broad array of journalism, for one easy uh, monthly subscription fee. And so that's a type of thing that I think is a sustainable business model. But Farhad, we're not talking about one monthly subscription model. I mean, how many of us pay how many subscriptions? So can all of these services really still exist and compete? Or who ends up being dominant? Does it end up being Amazon, Netflix, or, or Apple? I mean, does Spotify and Pandora, can they coexist? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Apple, Amazon, the, the giants that have these um, you know, hooks into you with their devices and other things. Obviously, they have a big advantage. But I think one of the interesting things about Spotify is that it does bridge all of these different companies. So, you know, you could have um, an Android phone and an Apple TV and, uh, you know, various devices from different companies and still use Spotify on it. And that might be, you know, a benefit to it. I mean, that's the reason I still keep paying Spotify um, instead of Apple Music or other services because, you know, I like the flexibility of it. Also, they're really good. I mean, it's they're one thing and they're much better at it. Uh, their app works better, they're, they have better sort of services um, and features than the other companies that do it because, um, you know, because it's their one thing. And I think there's something to be said for that for, um, you know, as we sort of enter this tech landscape that's dominated by a few companies, these, these companies that kind of play uh, uh, nicely with it, kind of everyone else, they, they may do well in the future. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.